G'day everyone, the horse pack is official and uh, I think I was wrong. Are you serious? So I haven't been too excited for this pack, obviously because it's an expansion pack and it's called Horse Ranch. I thought it was gonna be all about horses and I was wondering how they were gonna fit that into an expansion, but now it's official and it looks like it's more than just horses. So when it first leaked a couple weeks ago, I wasn't that excited for it. I think like most people, I was skeptical about uh, how they were gonna fit horses into an expansion. It is more than just horses, it is more like a whole Western theme. I don't know how many of you guys have played Red Dead Redemption, but I fucking love that game. And this is giving me a Red Dead feel, I don't know why. Oh, well, I do know why, it's Western themed, obviously. So if we take a look at the first image, you can see we've got some guy doing something, looks like he's making wine. There's little baby lamb and goats. Uh, and then obviously there's the horses and it looks like there are gonna be different breeds, which isn't a big surprise, there should be. And also the breeds are different sizes, so that's good at least. They haven't just gone with like one model and just named them different breeds, that would be fucking awful. <laughs> and then we've got this big ranch in the background here. Definitely love the look of this, it looks really cool. If I zoom way in here, you can also see there's like a little uh, horse trailer around the back or it could just be like an RV I'm not sure in the second image it looks like we've got some sort of a hoedown going on <laughs> and we've got more people drinking like the wine or the juice whatever they're gonna call it so that's probably gonna be a feature I wouldn't be surprised if it is and obviously this is like a saloon so we're probably gonna have a saloon in the game and we're also getting a look at the new clothing items I actually quite like this we're getting some cow print sort of furniture and clothing which really reminds me of like the Sims 2 <laughs> I think the Sims 1 even had cow print couches and shit <laughs> I think this guy's chaps with the dirt on them look really cool. And I really like this guy's belt. The only problem is all the belts in the game aren't separate accessories. They come with the pants. Which really, sh it should be separate. I mean, The Sims 2 PS2 had separate accessories for belts, so why can't we in this game? It's been 18 years since The Sims 2 PS2. And here's the image a lot of people are excited for, and I'm most excited for. And for one reason, if we look at the ceiling, it's not white. It's painted. So we're getting painted ceilings. This is great. It should have been in the game a lot earlier, but at least it's getting put in at some point. And I guarantee you, this will be a base game feature. This won't be pack exclusive. Think about when they added toddlers, it went to the base game. Pools went to the base game. Any sort of base game feature they announce with a pack is generally going to be in a base game. So I'm very much expecting this to be in the base game. Uh, it might not be. That would fucking suck. But yeah, anyway, we can see this guy's like uh, brushing the horse. So there will definitely be horse related activities. No surprise there. We've got a fucking skull on the wall. <laughs> and then we have this last picture, which shows us some of the world. And of course, the main thing the building. And this looks very much like a rabbit hole building. The way you can tell is the windows aren't see-through and the big main door just goes into the abyss. So just like in The Sims 3, this like racing hall or whatever it's called is going to be a rabbit hole. At least right now it is. I mean, it might not be when it fully releases, but uh, I doubt it. <laughs> Here's an image I was really excited for, for one main reason. Uh, they got a resonator guitar right here. I don't know if you guys know, I play guitar. My outro riff is actually me playing guitar. And so I was really excited about this until I saw this one thing. So obviously I must be illiterate and I can't read <laughs> because Henford Head tweeted, and this is the only reason I noticed this. These rocking chairs, uh, this wagon, wheel and this resonator guitar are three bonus items that if you purchase the Sims 4 Horse Ranch between June 22nd and August 31st, you will get them. And after that, you don't. So it's exclusive, basically. There'll probably be CC for these things. And for me, it won't matter because I'm going to get it either way. Uh, n not pay for it. <laughs> I don't pay for it. I haven't paid for a pack since City Living, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but I'm going to get it through different ways if you know what I mean. But where this is really annoying is obviously console. Console's always getting shafted and it always will, at least with The Sims, because The Sims is a PC game at core. So if they don't purchase it between this time range, they are never gonna get these items and they will never have access to them because they can't get CC and they can't like download a crack to get the items. And that's a real shame. Also, just looking at the world, if we go back to this image of where we get a clearer picture of the world, <laughs> I just realized this looks like one of the clouds in Toy Story. <laughs> anyway, that's besides the point. Um, the world. To me, it looks very similar to Oasis Springs and Strangerville. I almost called it Strange Town. <laughs> Strange Town? I haven't heard that name in years. <laughs> That's not true. I was playing The Sims 2 yesterday. It just looks very similar to me, and I feel like there was many different places that they could have put a different world type in. I mean, just real quick, Maxis. You know there's other places than the US, right? Like horses are a big part of rural Australian culture. You could have easily gotten the Red Sands vibe from just taking somewhere in Australia. It's similar to this, 
but completely different in its own way, you know? Just give me a goddamn Australian world, please! <laughs> but anyway, this is like the announcement image that they posted. Uh, it's like a roadmap. You can see the Rootin' Tootin' expansion. <laughs> Jesus, why didn't they call the pack that? That's so much better than Horse Ranch. Horse Ranch expansion pack? Root and Tootin expansion pack. <laughs> and also we're getting two new kits. I like how they call them bold. Kits are shit. Shut up, Sims. Okay, not all of them are shit, but let's be real. Most of them are shit. Uh, we'll be getting another Behind the Sims and more. Ooh. <laughs> but yeah, this is pretty cool. And uh, the keen-eyed among you may notice right here, way off in the corner. I'm going to zoom in on this heat. There's like a pair of swimming bathers in the picture. So people have been speculating that um this means we're going to get a swimwear kit. Or maybe some update the pools, maybe. Maybe curved pools. Who knows? And then there's also this little chair down here. I'm going to be real. I have no fucking clue what this is hinting at. To me, it's just a normal chair. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm now actually pretty excited excited for this expansion pack. <laughs> oh fuck, I'm just realizing there's also sunglasses in this tree here. <laughs> I'm assuming that's just got more to do with the uh, swimwear kit thing that might be a thing, who knows. But yeah, that's it. If you like this video, please drop a like. It helps out a lot. Trust me, I'm very small, so any amount of engagement helps out heaps. Thank you. If you like this little video, you're probably gonna like my little mod showcase I did yesterday. <laughs> I, uh, I played Extreme Violence mod and, uh, <laughs> my god, that shit's wild. <laughs> but yeah, subscribe if you want to see more. You can follow me on Twitter, link is in the description. And I'll see every single one of you in the next one. Take care.